Shakespeare does an outstanding job of creating the type of villains that you love to hate. And at this moment, Macbeth's suffering is intense and unbearable. His victim's ghost is haunting him, his guilt is torturing him, his enemies are closing in on him, his wife has gone mad, and just now he's heard that she's committed suicide. In such a state, we would expect a wild and desperate response with his mind jumping from one idea to the next. First there's time, then candles, then actors, and then the theatre, shadows and tales and idiots. For him, life has ceased to have meaning. He mentions light, but it's the light that guides him to the darkness of death. He mourns the meaninglessness of life, the absurdity of time, of language, of existence, and even of death. Perhaps one of the more famous speeches, delivered by one of his equally famous characters, just twelve lines from the man who wanted to become the King of Scotland. The Queen, my lord, is dead. She should have died hereafter. There would have been a time for such a word. Tomorrow. And tomorrow. And tomorrow. Creeps. In this petty pace, from day to day, to the last syllable of recorded time, and all our yesterdays have lighted fools the way to dusty death. Out. Out, brief candle. Life's but a walking shadow. A poor player that struts and frets his hour upon the stage. And then is heard no more. It is a tale. Told by an idiot, by an idiot, by an idiot, full of sound, of sound, sound, and fury, 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 signify, 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 nothing, nothing.